So many people want to learn Premiere Pro. They don't know where to start from. And the moment you open up the Premiere Pro software, you get so intimidated by these so many numbers than these so many ones. You know, yeah, it also happened to me the first time. When I opened up Premiere Pro, I was like, oh my God, what are all these numbers doing on this software? Well, it is for that reason that I've decided I should be making this video on how you can actually get into to know what it is all about Premiere Pro, okay? I know most of you are wondering, okay, how are we going to do it and so on? Just a few minutes and you'll be getting yourself the basics of Premiere Pro. Get your laptop, open it up, and we get started. So Premiere Pro is actually represented by an icon which is PR. We shall be clicking it and then our software should be opening a new project and then the other is saying open project now open project means that you're going to open a project that uh, you already worked on as you can see i already have some kind of projects which are lined up the new project if we click ok now when you open up the software you're going to see quite a number of words in there so those those should really not intimidate you. So basically the main tools that we are going to be using here are basically the selection tool, we have the razor tool, and then we shall also be having the title. And then look for your project name. You click it, and then in the import box, right down there, we right click and then import. There are a number of ways that you can actually import your videos. You can either go in the import box, like I've shown you, you right click, and then say import or you can go up to file and look for import or some other times this is what we call the bins so you can always create bins and assign your videos in different bins and then in the bin you right click and when you right click it brings you another box where you can actually also import your videos so it takes you to a folder where your videos are and I get my folder where my videos are I double click it and it will bring me the videos that I want to import into my software so I say open and immediately my video comes so when your video comes into the window, you can always drag it onto the track. Okay, the track has already come. And as you can see, we already have a video in the monitor. So in the monitor, that is my video. And on the track, we've, down, we've dragged the video and put it down on the, on the track. So what you can do, you can actually pull that line up there if you want to see what your video is about in the track and then you can pull the other line down there just to see the waves of your audio the tool that we are going to be using is the selection tool that tool can actually help you move uh, your video within the track from one side to another and the razor helps us to cut in between what we don't want we shall be seeing what the race actually stands for if you want to play you can always press the space bar or you can click on the button for play so basically the razor is when you're playing your clip you will find that there are certain parts that you feel you don't want in that clip so you get the razor and cut in between your clip okay that is what the razor does so you can cut one side and cut another side okay and then you determine what you actually want to remove from your clip so after cutting we can always select out the part that has been cut in between we have two ways of how we can clear it that is clear or we can use the repo delete now when we say clear clear is always going to create a gap in between your clips okay but remember if you only have if you're working with only one clip and you want to keep joining the both clips it means that you have to go for use the repo delete now just in case you've done a mistake and you feel you want to get back to that particular move you are at press ctrl z you'll always get back to move the next thing we do is we go into effects when you look at effects there are quite a number of effects there all you have to do is click 
on the video transition. We want to put some transitions in between the video. So there are quite many that you can you can play around with. But I usually like going with the cross dissolve. I like putting it in between my clips. So we shall use the cross dissolve, put it at the beginning and in between the cuttings that we made in our clip. Down there you can always stretch it a bit and see where you're actually putting your transitions or the effects. We keep putting in the middle where we cut our clips. Okay, as you can see, uh, when you drag it there, you will see like a small flag. When you see the small flag, then you can release. The cross dissolve brings out that good transition, you know, from one clip to another. So you can try it out. If you want to uh, uh, make it slow, you can always stretch it a bit. Or if you want it to come faster, you can stretch it inwards. Uh, the other tool that I usually use, I like a search engine of the effects and type in the particular transition or effect that I want. It makes it faster for me uh, deciding on which uh, transition or effect I want to use for my project. So as you can see, you can always use the search engine, type in your effect or your transition it comes immediately and then you can always apply it into the track. Another point that you don't need to forget is that every time you're working, make sure that you are saving your work. You can always press Ctrl S, that is for saving. Every move, I usually recommend that every move you make press Ctrl S so that you can save your work. Effect Ctrl has two parts. We have where we have the video effects all running down. And then we also have the audio effects. You can always select, we have the scale there, which is commonly used uh, to either shrink in or enlarge your images it could be a video it could be a photo and then we have what is uh, we have the positioning now that the positioning helps helps us on one side it helps us to take the you either photos of video uh, one side on one side either the left side or the right side you can also take your clip or image or photo upwards or downwards using the position so we go back our clip right now needs some music you go back to the import box and then when you click import you always uh, it takes you to the where your folders are and in your folders you can always select the folder that has your music When you select it, you can always just click on it and you say open. Immediately it will be put into the import box. As you can see, that is our song we've selected. Then we come and drop it down into the audio section. As you can see, the green down there, that is our song. We put it just below the video. Okay, now, when you notice that song is quite too long, so we have to cut it to reduce it. And then when you also notice the song doesn't begin from the beginning, so we reduce it using that red icon that you've just seen. You can also use it to stretch your song Okay, so it is always important you keep playing and playing and see. Now, when I play, my clip isn't moving faster. So what I do, I need to render it so that it can move faster. And the icon for rendering is enter. As you can see, the line on the track has kind of changed to green, which means that it has rendered. We want to color grade 
our footage and I've selected the first color corrector there so that I can try and color grade my footage. If I find it is too raw, I can just add just a little more color. As you can see, when you keep changing, the environment behind also keeps changing. When I go down, I can also increase on the saturation. Saturation means uh, increasing on the color. Or I can also scroll down. And if it is too bright and I want to make it a little dark, I can just go down there to the levels and reduce it a bit. So basically that is the small sample of color grading, but I'll be doing another, particularly for color grading. As you will see color grading basically changes the mood of the environment as you can see before and after when i click the mood changes now when you notice I've, i only worked on the first clip i have other clips that i need to work on go to the first color corrector click on it Control c then highlight my other remaining clips and i press Control v so that is like copy and paste so that I can have a uniform color grade for all my clips. The next thing I want to do is we want to add some title. Click title, a new title, and then you can select for the default still right now so that we can give our footage a title. So it is, it is always important to name your title. It is so important that you have to name all your titles. We have the toolbox there, we have the effect section, so many numbers, they should be intimidating. We have uh, the selection tool also, and then we also have the T, which represents typing. So I'll give my clip a title, my walk to the city, and then I go down to color. So I want to give it a color. Within the color, I'll choose black. And I'll give it black then I can also change I can also align it where I want it to be okay so I try and give it a position I can also go to the font type and uh, give it a font type that I feel I want there are quite many types that you want to go for uh, if I find it is too big I can go to the font size and the font size will help me reduce on the size of my fonts that I selected. So as you can see, we have the align there. They help align your title faster. When you're done, all you need to do is just close. And when you go to your project name, where you import from, your title is already in the import box. So what you do is just drag it on top of your clips and there you are. Your title will be onto your footage. Okay. So again, I'll go and uh, I'll go into my effects, select the Cross dissolve, apply it onto my title and put it there. So it's time to export and exporting I'll go up to file. Under file I'll look for export and export I go to media. Now under media I'll get into another box there which has format, presets and so many other stuff. But usually we look out for format and uh, usually the recommended format is H264. Then you go to preset. There are quite many there, but I'll go for YouTube. And then the output name, I'll click the output name and give my file a name. Make sure after giving your file the name, and then you save make sure that the export video and export audio are both clicked and then you go down and click export immediately your finished footage will start exporting 
well that's the end of our video today and i hope you liked it if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos from me make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so that you can be notified when another video from me comes in from me to you i say have a nice day